All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is the program to drive in a square. So I've already added a new program. I haven't titled it yet, so I'm just going to click up here and title it. Now, when we think about driving in a square, basically we're doing a uh, moving forward turning and repeating that process four times so naturally the easiest thing to do is to add a loop so I'm going to start with that I'll bring up my loop and over here uh, rather than having it do it unlimited I'm going to do it um, oops, I don't want time I want count and I'm going to do it four times so if we think about uh, driving in a square basically we want to move forward so I can either use my um, move steering or my tank steering and then I want to turn so I'm going to add another one um, on my turning whether I want it to be left or right I can easily do this by adjusting uh, the little bar here so I'm going to say that I'm going to be going in a square and turning left now what I have found is that depending on the surface that you are turning on it can vary as far as um, what the angle will do. So I'm going to start with negative 45 degrees. You can see by the picture here, that's probably about a 90 degree. Um, and then the number of rotations, I may have to adjust that as well. And that's going to be some fine tuning I'm going to do after I've already gotten started. Um, the other thing I need is how far I need it to go forward. So uh, I can do number of rotations or I can do on for degrees and I can actually use the robot to help me figure out how many degrees or rotations that I need to uh, move forward. So I'm going to kind of move over to a presentation that has some images that will help me demonstrate that. So this first graphic that we're looking at here is just a graphic of what the screen could look like on your EV3 robot. And you'll notice here um, you've got your play, you've got where you can get to your different files, and then you've got your brick apps. And this is where I can go in order to kind of use my robot to t uh, determine how uh, far I want to move forward or backwards and to do that I would just click on the port view and when I click on port view I'm going to see a screen that looks like this now by default it's going to be in uh, the ports for ABC so um, it's going to be looking at my sensors but all I did on my robot was I used the up arrow to come up and it started on port A and I just arrowed over to so it'd get to port B and then what I did is I just took my robot and moved it forward and you can see that it moved um, 768 degrees so that's how far I needed to move forward for my square so now that I have that information I can fill it in on my uh, program okay so um, now I'm back here to my program and I measured in degrees so I'm going to change that on for degrees and it was about 768 I think if I remember correctly so now I've got it ready if I had something else to do um, I could add on to my program here that's always good to kind of uh, get a feel for how close the part of the program is before you continue to add so at this point I would just hook up my robot download it and give it a try more than likely I'm going to need to come back in here and maybe adjust my angle and also remember when we're turning especially uh, if we slow the speed down, sometimes it can be a little bit more accurate. So those are a couple of tips that will help you out. So hopefully uh, this will help you perform the drive in a square task.